The film Ben Mahidi by Bashir Dere, which was to be released this September, is banned from theatrical screening in Algeria. The decision was made by the Ministry of the Mujahideen through the National Center for Studies and Research on the National Movement which is responsible for following the films and documentaries dealing with the National Liberation War 1954 On his Facebook account, the director has published a photo of the mail sent to him by the center headquartered in Algiers. The document contains several observations on the biopic dedicated to Larbi Ben Mahida's career, formulated after the filming of the film by a committee. In particular, the committee asked the director to show all the historical aspects relating to the life of Colonel Larbi Ben Mahidi, one of the founders of the FLN, member of the Coordination and Execution Committee CCE, created after the Congress Sumum in 1956. Arrested and tortured by French soldiers in Algiers, Larbi Mahidi was hanged in March 1957 under the orders of General Paul Osiris's the official French version refers to suicide in the cell. They did not approve the content of the film and forbid its projection in the current version. They found that there was not a lot of violence, not enough of a war scene when I made a political film. They reproached me for not showing the torture, the ambushes, they wanted a film in Ben Boulade Ahmed Ricchetti. If I had to follow them, I would have made a five-hour movie. They do not know cinema. They do not know that the film lasts 1h50 in which, we tell a story from a precise angle, says TSA, Bashir Dere. I have been criticized for undermining the symbols of the revolution. The center's committee under the Ministry of Mohahedan did not join the film at all. They asked to do the movie again. They asked me why I showed disagreements between the leaders of the revolution. In particular, I showed the differences between Abain and Ben Bella, between Ben Mahidi and Ben Bella, between people from inside and outside. And I mentioned the leadership war. I was criticized for undermining the symbols of the revolution. I did not invent anything. Everything is written in the books of Keter, Ferhat Abbas and Ben Yusef Benkheda, he said. At the end of August 2018, the Minister of Culture Azadine Mihobi wrote on his Twitter account that a committee composed of members specialized in the national movement will decide on the projection of the film after verifying the conformity of the scenario and real historical facts with what has been achieved, out of respect for the memory and the journey of the martyr hero. He added that it was a mandatory procedure. Basically, the scenario has not changed. There are little things that have evolved over the course of filming. I will not touch the film plan. I am a free man who has always defended freedom of expression. At the limit, what I can accept is the viewing of the film by a committee of independent historians like Daho Jerbal, Muhammad Harbi or Benjamin Stora, not the officials of the Ministry of the Mohahedan. If these independent historians tell me to take things away, I can assure you that I will apply. That said, I reassure the Algerians that the film will be shown to them by all means. We will not give up five years of effort. Insists Bashir Dere. Grants from the Ministries of Culture and the Mujahideen everything that is undertaken falls within the scope of the law and the procedures provided in this area, learns TSA from an authorized source. The Committee of the National Center for Studies and Research on the National Movement relied on the Mujahid and Shahid Law of 1999, the Ordinance 03-05 of 2003 on copyright and the Law 11-03 of 2011 relating to cinematography. Article 6 of Law 11.03 provides that the production of films relating to the War of National Liberation and its symbols is subject to the prior approval of the government. Are banned from financing, the production and exploitation of any film production infringing religions or the War of National Liberation, its symbols and history or glorifying colonialism or undermining public order or unity or incitement to hatred, violence and racism, it is written in Article 6 of the same law. Our source recalls that the film on Ben Mahidi received a grant from the Ministries of Culture and Mohahedan on the basis of a scenario written by Murad Borboon with a collaboration, among others, Abdelkram Balul and Olivier Gorse. The director said he fed the film with testimonials he himself collected. Was this testimony in the scenario or was added? Obviously, he added things. <laughs>